Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We just got expelled from Blackwell. And now we're being escorted off the premises. Later, Skip. Later. But I have a feeling we will return. Looks like David's here. Ah. Uh Ah, yes. Hella. Brings me back. Alright, what else we got? Uh, we got lots of messages. We got messages from the principal. Doesn't really matter, but traveling to and from campus, seeing as how we've been expelled, so. Uh, message about the fire. Elliot. I guess we could go see Elliot sometime. And of course, Mom. So. Max would have loved this shit. Yeah. Looks like Max's uh, schedule. We got in here some uh, some stage equipment. What's this over here? The pothole. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Okay. So here. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. Uh, the Vortex Club is having a party in the swimming pool. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? Cigarettes? But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. Are. Someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. Yeah, personally, I hate when people have bumper stickers on their cars. It's just stupid. Wait, does that say? Oh, okay. I thought it said life is strange. That would have been a little, uh, meta. It says life is a stage. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> L. D. Byron. Uh, that doesn't sound familiar. Do the other license plates have vanity? They all do. They all have vanity plates. Katniss. Katniss Everdeen. Is that is that one from Hunger Hunger Games or is that someone from this game? Jim Jim or Jim Sturk. Here's Elliot. What do you want, Elliot? Hey. Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. What are you doing on a Saturday morning? Wait, really? Morning? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Um... No, we're cool, Elliot. That's okay. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early. To grab tickets. 
For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Uh, we did say that we were going to go see it with him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. And we're leading him on again. Yeah. Later. Alright, what's all this around here? Is this a phone? Some kind of electrical box thing. Why is it in the middle of the parking lot like this? And here's a little itty bitty trash can. And we looked at that. We probably can't walk back up there. Everything over. Oh, yep. Drug free zone, yep. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Gotta face my mom at some point. Yeah, we can't walk down the road. Obviously. Might as well be now. Uh, suitor or moped? Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn, I guess I will miss one thing about this place. I guess this is probably. Rachel's parents' car? Wells' car. Oh, it's Wells' Crushing car. spirits must pay pretty well. A ham. Okay. Who's car is this? Holden C? No idea. Hey, isn't this our truck? Yeah, this is our truck. Do we get this later? Taking pride in Blockwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Or maybe it's not. T Sawyer. Oh. It's time about to face damn me. time. David, please. Chloe. Your mother and I have been talking. Personally, I wouldn't pick either of these. But, uh, yeah. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future right above now. self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? I don't think Chloe wants to work the diner. No offense to her mom. Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about 
Joyce, very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Okay. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe. I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels- Joyce. We feel. This is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I don't think we have anything. I think we left everything in our room. Uh, watch the game prove me wrong. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Markers, cigarettes, lighter, cat picture, uh, phone, I think, keys, the panda. Did she have the panda keychain before? I remember she had some kind of keychain. Ooh, chain. weed! Oh uh, no, yeah. the horror. I knew it. Happy? It's marijuana, all right. No, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Like, these are both valid options, I just don't know what the follow-through is. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. If we're gonna sit in the back, you gotta pull the 
the seed for it and stuff for us at least. Hey! Oh, I guess we're not getting in any of this. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. Can we go stay She'll with Rachel? Come home or I guess we're gonna go with Elliot. Tantrum is over. <sighs> not uh, maybe not. Okay. Feeling sorry for my man Elliot it there, but uh, I think is good spot to uh, cut it. So uh, thanks for joining me on this episode. See you next time.